Okay, so the first thing we want to do here we, to do our wheel variance is we want to select our wheel. Now you can see here that it went ahead and selected this whole reference group here, and there's, there's two reasons why it might have done that. Number one, we have components, and number two, this is a payload. If we go over to our selection mechanism and go right above it, this is our select modes. And if I right click on that, you can see I'm set to select all kinds, which indeed we are set to component. So I uh, got that, but also we have include references and payloads, which means it's going to traverse up to the nearest payload. So I'm going to turn this off and then I'm going to go into all prim types, which is just going to allow me to get all of the loose prims. So I'm going to grab my wheel and I'm going to go turn my selection outline off and now I've got my wheel. So I can see here we've got three options and what we want to do here is uh, I, I want to make a, a, a variation of this wheel to cover all of them. So what I'm going to do is go up here to the uh, wheel and I am going to say edit variance and you can see here that what, what happened is it, the target is changed now to wheel FD. This is where I'm setting the variant options. This is what I'm publishing to. And it's really important that when we do this, we want to make a consideration of, we want to make this variant, uh, this variant option as close to the things we're changing as possible. And there's a reason for that. That's a performance consideration. The more distance there is in the hierarchy, say if I was to go all the way up here, then we would have more things to traverse and compute uh, to change some things. So if I can reduce that distance, then, then that's what we should do. So in this case, this is wheel um, front driver side. This is where I'm going to do it. So I got the variant set open. I'm going to make a variant set and you can see it created a new set for me with an initial option. I want to change the name of both of these to rims FD and rim option one. Now I've got my rim option in my variant set. Uh, so now I need to say what I want to change and what I want to change are these rims. So I'm going to grab all three of these prims here and I'm just going to drag them over here to the right side of my column with this option selected. Now there's an alternate way I could have done that. I could have used this add prim button and this would have just given me a stage view right here and then I could have navigated down to it. Now, I'm going to do one other thing here just to kind of prove a point, and that is if I tried to pull a wheel or a rim from another section, it's going to tell me no. Because in order for a variant to work, the things you're changing have to be a child of that published variant. So you get a warning if you try to go outside of that. Now, back to the task at hand. So for this, we just want to change visibility. They're already in the scene. So I've got three prims and I want to go grab the visibility attribute. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab it for this one and then I'm going to grab it for this one here. All right. So now what I want to do is I just want to make it so that my visibility for the rim that I want matches the rim. So in this case, I'm going to make rim one inherited and rim three invisible. And so I could press this plus button and make another variant option, drag these things over again, set all this stuff again, or a faster way to do that would be to right click on my option and duplicate it and then just select it and rename it. So I'm going to call this one rim two. And now I'm basically starting where I was before, so I don't got to re redo all this stuff. Take rim one, make it invisible, and then we'll take rim two and make it inherited. And then we're going to do this one more time by duplicating rim two into rim three. And so we'll take these and just change them out. Notice here that uh, inherited is kind of how you would say it inherits from the thing above, which is generally visible. 
So there we go. So now we've got our three options and I can click through them rather easily.